morning. We are making blueberry jam and you're putting maple syrup in it, but I did Octave instead of maple syrup and then filtered water. And then we are gonna add chia seeds in it about 10 to 12 minutes after it is cooked some. have 10 minutes left and you can already see that it is getting very cooked and blue and purpley looking it calls for two to three tablespoons of chia seeds and then once everything is stirred in you're gonna just add half of a lemon. I'm going to just use lemon juice from a bottle and then you're going to transfer it to a glass and then use as a de desired but I'm going to just let it sit for a few days and then use it next week. I wanted to just go ahead and get this done because I will not be here this weekend. Here it is. Man, it's really going now. We're gonna add in three tablespoons of chia seeds. And just mix that in. And then that cooks for about five to 10 minutes. So it mixes in real well. We are done. The blueberry jam is finished. There was a little bit that wouldn't fit in the jar, so I had to put it in a container, but it looks great. And I am so excited to have it this coming week. I am looking at hopefully getting the cinnamon bread from a farmer's market person who I literally have her contact information because that's how often I get her bread. I just do not like the store-bought bread as much anymore. So, mm, got them on my finger. Mm, so good. I will see you guys soon for getting my craft room all set up. We already have it set up a little bit, but we definitely want to rearrange some things and kind of figure out where to put this item that are in bags to go to the clothes closet I like to take stuff to. But yeah, let's, I will see you guys soon for that. Bye. Good morning. We are working on cutting watermelon rinds. Have y'all even heard of that? Basically, we are just cutting these things into really small rinds. I do need to peel them. Um, Maybe not like a whole lot. Ooh. We're just gonna put these in this bag. I am trying to wanna go volunteer at this local art center. At like, I was told to try to get there like no later than 9.30. But I think they thought I was going to show up like really early. So that was why they did that. Um, but I also had a tendency to show up really early when I used to do the farmer's market. And this person actually sells coffee 
and then like these really cool journals at the farmer's market some other stuff too but like stuff that i like have no idea how to explain to you so i am just cutting these up because i don't think i'm gonna have time to cook them because i'm kind of gonna just create my own recipe a lot of the other recipes that i saw on pinterest do not have like any of the stuff i like me like they don't have oranges or they don't I don't have apples so I'm just gonna kind of throw something together and see how it turns out like I have brown sugar and I have just regular sugar and octave so I think I'm gonna just kind of throw something together and we're just gonna see how it is I just I learned that you actually can eat these you just need to peel the actual um <laughs> you just need to peel these so I am going to work on that honestly I feel like this is going to take me forever so we are going to just take a break and do that I am back, as we can see, I've changed my clothes. I went to volunteer at the local art center and they put me to work for sure. And so we are, this is supposed to take a long time, but I am working on the watermelon rinds. I did not use all the watermelon because there's just no way I like just needed a break from cutting up the watermelon and I wanted to just test this out. We're basically doing a test try first. I looked at a lot of different recipes and I'm kind of just throwing one together because a lot of the recipes, as I said before, just had things in them that I did not have on hand. So I am doing a cup of brown sugar and then one teaspoon of the vanilla extract and then I'm doing the watermelon rinds, and then I'm also doing um, three tablespoons of lemon juice. You could do two or three tablespoons, but I decided to do three because I like know the like brown sugar and the vanilla extract. They're gonna make it kind of sweet, so I want to add a little bit of tanginess in there once it like really like get to like that you know 60 minutes or an hour i want to hopefully like taste test it and see if it needs something else like some nutmeg or something but as you can see it is definitely cooking down already and you can see the like syrup already hopefully <laughs> yeah it is definitely getting there but it looks like definitely is getting like covered in the brown sugar and the vanilla i have this much watermelon left it's like not much just a little bit so we're gonna probably I'm either going to just leave this in the water and then just let it sit for the weekend and then do it again later. It just kind of depends on the time, I think. I just know that I just was getting kind of at that point where I was like, we need to just get started on this recipe and then we'll see. I just wanted to kind of, I also think I cut the pieces too big, but... I also was just getting, man, cutting those pieces, it's like hard. <laughs> but I really wanted to try this. I really wanted, when I learned that you could save the rinds and make jam or pickle them or whatever, I really wanted to test out 
you know, one of the ideas. So I'm doing a jam or like a syrup. I'm trying one. I'm, oops. I am doing more of like a syrup recipe or like a jam. I'm hoping it'll turn out more like a preserved or jam, but we are going to do that and then just see what happens. It's definitely like, you can see the insides cooking down. It's more like the outside. The, I think the worst part is peeling the green part off because like I definitely cut myself a few times and that's okay. But anyways, I'm going to eat because I'm hungry. As you can tell, I added in some cinnamon sticks. I am trying to decide if I want to add like some nutmeg or something. It just feels like it needs a little something else. All right, so we finished the watermelon rinds. I don't think I'm gonna do the other half, at least not this time, because cutting the watermelon rinds is just intense. I ended up doing more of like a drink. It really, I think, cut in I did not cut the pieces small enough so it didn't turn into like a preserved or a jam instead it turned into more of a juice which is fine that's not a problem I just think that next time if we try it we need to do we need to like really have that like extra time to cut it really really small and maybe even like try to like actually be like you know, take breaks in between so that we're not, like, getting so, like, worn out. But that's kind of what I got for you. I am now going to finish washing dishes. And I honestly think I am going to take the other, the rest of the watermelon rinds to my friend's compost. Because I just... It was a lot to, for this much juice. I think it's, you know, it'll be good. It tasted, I tried the juice to see how it tasted and it did taste good. So it tasted very much that like fall vibes with the brown sugar and the vanilla and the cinnamon. But I don't think I have like, Watermelon's like that thing that I really love, you know, maybe once or twice in the summer, but I don't need it like all the time anyways. And I ended up having to use, I actually have these things called milk bags. And you just like put, I ended up putting it inside the milk bag and squeezing whatever juice was left out. Because that was just, I could not wait any longer. I think next time I really need to cut them out really small. I definitely would like to try this again at some point, just not right now. So I will see you guys next time. And if you like this, give me a like and don't forget to comment. Bye.